Welcome, welcome to One Minute Crypto. I'm your host, Kronos, and we are celebrating a new record block size on the Bitcoin network. If you've been hanging around crypto for the last year, year and a half, you're probably kind of depressed because the price has been doing nothing but down and sideways for a very long time. And you probably think that crypto usage has been following the same trend. So this chart is going to blow your socks off. Take a look. This is the average block size over time on the Bitcoin network. You can see around January when the price started to dive, the usage took a hit as well. But you can see the usage picking up. Block size is large, meaning containing a lot of transactions. And you can see this new record at 1.3 megabytes. So even as the price is on uncertain ground, the usage on the Bitcoin network is very bullish. We can see the network being used to the max. Now, you can see the limit over there, the one megabyte block size limit that was exceeded thanks to an upgrade of Bitcoin called SegWit back in August of 2017. And I want to address something in this video because I've seen people saying that SegWit can give us up to four megabyte blocks. And I think that's completely wrong. Let me give you an analogy to explain what I mean. Imagine if this cheese sandwich is a Bitcoin transaction, and the cheese part is the witness data that SegWit can affect. So the more cheese is in the sandwich, the more SegWit can have an impact on the size of the transaction to allow for bigger blocks. Theoretically, if our sandwiches are made entirely of cheese, we can have a four megabyte block system. But that's simply not going to happen because transactions have bread too. I mean, you can't just add cheese until it's 100% cheese. A typical transaction is going to be about two thirds bread, one third cheese. And so your block size limit, if everything is using SegWit, it's going to be about 1.7, 1.8 megabytes on average. So because Bitcoin transactions are made of bread too, they're not entirely cheese, you're not going to see block sizes get anywhere near 4 megabytes just thanks to SegWit. Now, I actually put together a great video explaining exactly how SegWit affects the maximum block size. So if you want to hear a little bit more about that, I explained it using poker chips. Very easy to understand. Check out that video. And in the meantime, to the moon.